Illustrator has the ability to lock and unlock objects, and this is a very convenient feature that allows you to lock an object in place so that you don't accidentally modify it. For the example, I've got several objects on the page, and they're all unlocked right now. They're in the normal state. Suppose I want to make sure that I don't accidentally select this because I know that I don't want to change the color, I don't want to move it, I don't want to modify it in any way. I can select it and choose Object Lock Selection. Now it doesn't even allow me to select it. It's locked. I can't change the color, I can't move it, but these others are still unlocked. Even if I say Select All, it does not select the locked item. Now suppose I change my mind and I want it unlocked, or I'm done with these and I want to make sure that this one is now able to be modified. Well, I can say Object Unlock All. And that brings it back to the normal state. Now the software treats it just like it used to. If I want to change the color, I can do so. If I want to move it, I can do so. What would this be good for in a real-world scenario? Well, sometimes you might be tracing an object and you'll have a background that you want to lock because you don't want to accidentally move it because it'll mess up your tracing. Uh, you also may just have a background on a brochure or something. And um, let me go ahead and send this to the back. And maybe I'm in here and I'm, I'm working on this piece and instead of clicking here I accidentally just click a little bit to the left well now I've selected my background and I've moved it that's no good so um, in that case I would want to lock it object lock selection so that I couldn't accidentally select it I would only be able to select the ones that were unlocked